In the morning, these Duke Energy trucks staged here at the Four Seasons Mall will hit the road and get to work, but for now they're getting some much needed rest. Some of these utility workers are coming out of one storm and heading right into another. Plan for the worst and hope for the best. We're going to do what we have to do. Utility crews bracing for an ugly storm. After going through it once last weekend, they're not expecting Mother Nature to go easy on them this time around. Saturday was, I just want to say it's probably a preview of what we're looking to get um, tomorrow. Assistant Director of Electric Utilities for the City of High Point, Tyler Barrier, says after working hard to restore power over the weekend, their crews are resting, gearing up for another storm and more grueling work. Our guys are, you know, not looking forward to it. You're looking at working in the rain. It's 33, 32 degrees. It's raining. You're outside setting poles or working in a bucket, but it, it's what you have to do. Randolph Electric CEO Dale Lambert says they're expecting 50% of their customers to lose power, and for some, it could be out for several days. It's going to be significant, so we need to be ready on from Randolph EMC side, ready to respond. But then we ask our members to be ready to endure it for a few days too. Randolph Electric crews just returned home from helping near the Virginia border. Now they're preparing for the next round. Even though some utilities were still working north of us to restore power, we needed our crews back on the system. So we made the call to bring them back so they'd be rested and ready to go. Additional crews haven't just come in from out of state. Utility workers are also coming from other parts of North Carolina to help out in the triad. Contractors from New Bern will be here to help out in High Point.